Hello everybody and welcome back to the, th uh, the third class of the first section and in this video we're going to be looking at how Tor works, what Tor is and how it works. So basically Tor is uh, the relay of networks that we're going to be using to connect to the deep web or the dark net. Now Tor basically means the onion router. So let's get started. Um, so basically let's understand how Tor works. So Tor uh, is a proxy a system, a, a, a series of proxies that is used to an anonymize communication over the internet. All right, so Tor, the Onion router, uses the Tor browser, which as I said is the tool that we're going to be using to browse the deep web or the dark net. So it encrypts data using the Onion routing system, which is basically a, a layer of proxies that will shield uh, your, 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 basically your traffic as you're browsing uh, the deep web or dark net. Now, as you can see, you're, this is you basically you are the Tor client now the Tor client is going to go through a node all right the first node is always going to be uh, it's going to be permanent it's going to be the same node every time I'll explain what a node means later so basically this is the entry guard which is the first node now the first node is going to communicate randomly to the second node all right now because of this randomization of the connectivity from the first to the second and to the third, that's why you're, you're always going to have a u unique and different IP address all the time. So it's going to communicate to the middle relay, which is the second node, which will then randomly choose the third node out of, you can see out of a thousand nodes that, that Tor has. So basically what, what's happening here is your computer is going to connect to a, a node, the permanent, the, the, the primary, the first node uh, on the Tor network. And then that one is going to randomly connect to one out of a thousand other nodes, which is then uh, going to connect to another uh, another one out of a thousand nodes. So it's basically just randomizing your connection and shielding it through um, through basically these, these different nodes under the different IP addresses. And finally, re you reach the destination. Uh, which is basically the server on which the website you're visiting is hosted. So as you can see, there's actually a key here on this chart, uh, the encrypted by Tor, which is the green line, which as I mentioned over here. So once it reaches the um, the exit relay, which is the third and final node, it and when it's the, the information is traveling to and from the third node to the server on which the website you're visiting is hosted, that is actually not encrypted. So that really doesn't matter because at this point, the data being transferred has nothing related to you except for one part, which I will discuss in the anonymity section of this course later on. So basically, that's how it works. I have one more image here that I want to just show you how it works. So basically, basically, as I said over here, it's going to have your computer. This is you right here. And uh, basically, you're going to connect to the first node. This node is going to randomly select another node and that's going to select another random node. And then you have your exit node, uh, which actually takes you to the website that you wanted to visit. So pretty simple to understand how Tor is doing this and how it's shielding your information and how it's keeping you anonymous on the deep web or the clear or the dark net, excuse me. So that's basically it for this video, guys. If you have any questions or you want to ask me anything, just let me know in the Q&A section of the course. Thanks for watching.